it's always a good day for looking at birds, but especially today, uh, the wind the wind is down. Uh, you can see uh, a, an adult teaching a young one to fly. Mark Rashal is Audubon, Florida's Coastal Islands Sanctuary Manager, one of the folks with Audubon, Florida, responsible for caring for the Richard T. Paul Alifaya Bank Bird Sanctuary, also known as the Alifaya Bank's Critical Wildlife Area. The sanctuary consists of Bird Island and Sunken Island and sits west of the mouth of the Alifaya River in Hillsborough Bay. So this is privately owned and so it could be an open you know, public use island, but through the, the stewardship of the Mosaic Company and also Port Tampa Bay, they designate it as a bird sanctuary. That allows it to be used by the birds, not only during the nesting season, but during the non-nesting season, during the roosting period, you know, when the chicks are growing up, all, all phases of their life. And so uh, without that partnership, because it is privately owned, you know, it wouldn't be this important bird colony it's become today. Audubon, Mosaic, and Port Tampa Bay have been partners for many decades. The Mosaic Company and Port Tampa Bay own the islands, but rely on Audubon to maintain and care for it, using conservation efforts that benefit so many, the bird population and those who enjoy bird watching. Port Tampa Bay is uh, deeply committed to our environmental uh, protection, environmental resources, and we partner with uh, a lot of different entities, but one of our strongest partnerships are with the uh, Florida Audubon and the uh, Coastal Island Sanctuaries. They do such, a, such an important job out here in Hillsborough Bay, uh, protecting the important breeding colonies and nesting colonies that we're so lucky to have. Because of the diversity and importance of the sanctuary, Audubon partnered with Mosaic and Port Tampa Bay to support the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's initiative to modify the existing CWA, Critical Wildlife Area, designation to provide greater protections for the birds that use the island year-round. With this private-public partnership in place for this critical wildlife area, protections are in place for nesting birds and their young and migrating birds that forage and rest on the Alifaya Bank. Recently installed signs around the islands alert boaters, kayakers, paddleboarders, and others to stay at least 100 feet away from the islands. The public certainly can enjoy those activities in the area, but only birds are allowed inside the protected area. We also want to make sure that with respect to fishing, monofilament is a problem. So when you cast into an area where there's birds and there's mangroves, sometimes that fishing line can get caught and left behind. And that's kind of a death trap for birds. We're see we were seeing a lot of uh, young birds entangled in fishing line and losses from that. So um, that prohibition is intended to try and curtail that issue as well. Well, this area is definitely special. It's definitely unique. It's not just the numbers of birds that are here, but the diversity of birds and the types of birds. So we have quite a few imperiled species, state imperiled species, like roseate spoonbills, American oyster catchers, reddish egrets. Uh, these are species that are not doing very well and that we're trying to recover. And then we have birds like brown pelicans in large numbers and gray egrets. And these are birds that are, are doing well, but they could go the other way if we don't protect the places where they are. So. It's one of the most diverse and one of the most species-rich colonies in the state of Florida. This whole channel is important to us. Obviously, we have um, importance for our business. We want to make sure that our shipping channels are maintained. We have barges that are in and out frequently through our review facility. Um, but more importantly, we have a lot of recreation that happens here. We have people that are boating. We have people that are um, kayaking and paddle boarding. So this is a very important um, location for everyone that lives, works, and plays in this area. Um, so making sure that this one little island um, is maintained, um, it adds a lot of beauty to the area. A scenic view for everyone to enjoy while following the rules to stay out of the buffer areas and not impact the birds, they call this area home.